also wanted to go to Michigan to talk about trade, to talk about reciprocal and fair trade deals, to talk about what he's done for the workers. And Michigan was the very last place that candidate Trump visited, Grand Rapids, Michigan, after midnight, so technically Election Day 2016. It'll always be very sentimental and special to him and his team. But what about, do you, um, it is great that he's able to do that just like last year, he was able to do that while in Pennsylvania. What about being able to sort of have this interface with the press and be able to have, have you know, the American public be able to see that? The American public sees the president constantly, and the American press had him, many, had him to themselves uh, many times this week. We had two bilaterals with President Macron of France, with Angela Merkel, the Chancellor of Germany, just yesterday. The president uh, also allows the press to talk to him in the South Lawn, in the pool sprays, in the bylaws. He was on a competitor network for almost a half an hour on Thursday morning, and your network was, was cribbing together those, clipping together those statements and putting them out as well. So I think this is one of the most transparent, accessible presidents in definitely in modern history. I love you referencing our network. What are you expecting to see tonight? We're, we're expecting to have fun, first of all. Yes. Be with a lot of hey. good friends. Be with a lot of good friends. we are fun. We are fun. <laughs> Kellyanne's fun. That's why we're here with Kellyanne. We're going to have fun, see a lot of old friends. It's great to be back in Washington. <laughs> okay. So this, what is great about this end is that it is a little bit more fun. Often than, you know, when, when you're on certain shows, there's you're going head-to-head -head with press a lot of the time. But I am having fun. They may not know it. <laughs> so in this room, does the vibe really just loosen up? Does it feel much different for you in there? Yes, but I wake up every day and choose to be happy, so I'm probably not a good person to ask. I really don't read 99% of the negative because it's so reflexive and unthoughtful. And we just have such, I'm so blessed to walk into that White House every day and have a job to do on behalf of the country I love. I was raised by a single mom many, many years ago and it taught to taught to believe in yourself and taught you can do anything you want. I'm grateful for that every day. And so I'm grateful to this president, this vice president, for showing such great leadership domestically and around the globe that I, I'm probably not a good person to ask because I just, I don't, I don't like to walk around and be negative. I'm part of that happy, I don't know, 15% of America. As are, as are, as are the cones. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cubs. Oh, no, no, we're good. We about Do you have a different attitude now that you've left the administration? Different attitude about what? About about the fact that the president's, about this event, about the fact that the president's not here tonight. No, look, I, I think the president has is, is made a choice every year where he should be. He's out with his voters tonight. He's out with the constituencies. He's talking about his agenda. He's talking about his platform. It's great for the president. He's where he wants to be tonight. And I have a feeling that he's going to be the most popular person talked about, and I feel his presence for sure. already. So, Do you guys feel that currently, you know, I, I was just speaking with Michael Avenatti, of, of course, the lawyer for Stormy Daniels, who says that he feels as though the president is hiding, and, and yet he is here and, and willing to talk about what's, what is happening with his client. Um, how do you feel those types of things are going to seep into the comedy tonight? We'll see. Yeah. What do you think about him saying he's hiding? I'll answer your main question about the president <laughs> hiding this way. Every single person here, if they hear a click, click right now, they're going to look at the Twitter feed and say, oh, the president just said X. He's hardly hiding. He communicates directly with the press and with the American people every single day in, in several different ways. It's called the democratization of information where, you know, I think sadly for some, he cuts out the middleman, but it allows him to express himself directly and instantly with all of America without the filter. And so he'll continue to do that. Oh, does without the filter part ever make you nervous? <laughs> Me? No. <laughs> Nothing Have makes Kelly nervous. Have a great night. <laughs> I've, I've gathered that. Thank you so much for talking with us, you guys. So as you can see, there is quite a bit happening here on the red carpet. They all sort of just jumped into that interview with us. But they are maintaining that they do not think that it is wrong that the president is not here. They are continuing to tout the fact that him in Michigan, with them being here, gives them double the coverage, essentially, and access to the American people. But as I mentioned with them, I was speaking with Michael Avenatti, lawyer for Stormy Daniels right before this, who said, by the way, that Stormy Daniels got 10 or 11 invitations to be here tonight. She did not take up any of those. He said she had a prior commitment, and he felt it wouldn't be right to throw her into this crowd. Uh, but he did say that he felt the president is hiding. Um, I've heard that from multiple people as well. Uh, so there's both sides of that coin, and it just, it does feel like the vibe is a little bit picked up from last year when I was here when the president was not here. Um, but of course, you are just hearing that the night is completely different, given that a sitting.